Welcome everybody to another episode of Hunting Micro Galaxy Squadron. Today I'll be opening up my General Grievous Starfighter, but not only that, I'm gonna try and display him back there using some of this uh, fishing line, a couple of hooks, and probably a bit of this uh, quake hole. Here we go. So here it is, General Grievous Starfighter. This is a Series 3 rare, which means it's 1 out of 15,000 units made. As you can see, it's numbered 64. You have General Grievous in there and his uh, Solus One awesome uh, Starfighter, which I really like the design of. Uh, here is the packaging. We're going to be ripping this open real soon. Just check the back. You got the um, blueprint um, uh, that comes with all these ships and some other series three ships and the chase uh, Poe Dameron's uh, X-Wing. Uh, and you can see here uh, some of the qualities of this ship, how it has uh, landing gear that attracts, uh, cannons that go up and uh, a, what, what could you call that? Dorsal fin goes on 90 degrees. Well, we'll be checking that out and uh, let's rip it open. All right, so there we have it all ripped to pieces and you can see here the Solus one free from its packaging. It is real beauty, this one, I gotta say. I love the coloring, I love the design and the shape of it. Uh, that is really, really nice. Uh, so uh, as far as we have um, moving parts, uh, we have the landing gear and they uh, sort of like um, roll in um, like that. And as with all of these uh, Jazzware uh, Micro Galaxy Squadron um, ships, I think um, all the moving parts are quite stiff. Um, actually, some you are even scared that you're going to be breaking trying to get them in, out of position. And the, the dorsal fin uh, goes like this, clicks into place, comes out, and now I'm really scared that I'm going to be breaking it. Yep, comes out again. Um, the cannons. Uh, you have to sort of wiggle them a bit to get them out into the cool shooting position. Wiggle it up a bit. There they go. And they're ready to fire and go pew pew. And go back in. And then, of course, the cockpit pops open like this, like so many ships that we've seen. And uh, let's uh, get uh, the general in there. So the general himself in his little cradle thingy. Uh, I really like these actually. My friend uh, displays these as they are like this, uh, which is quite nice with the um, name here in the bottom. But let's get him out and uh, see what he's like. So the general himself, um, all menacing looking um, with his removable cape. Comes right off, looks really nice. Uh, no lightsabers uh, with this one. I know the Series 4 uh, Scout has uh, two lightsabers. I've seen people pull him. Uh, but this one is uh, meant for flying, so no uh, fighting here. Let's get him into his cockpit. So this can be a bit tricky, some of the ships, getting these guys in. Uh, let's see how we do. This is the first attempt. Now, that looks really nice and easy fit. Um, let's just tuck him in like that. First try, bam, he's in, and off we go. Mm. So, the general in his ship, ready to fly off. Uh, I did say that I was going to try and display him in my cabinet. To do that, I'm going to use some fishing line, uh, a couple of these hooks, transparent hooks. I have also been using these action figure stands to display these uh, Micro Galaxy Squadron ships. Um, I use uh, one of these for to display the two Jedi Interceptors I will show you in a bit. These are actually really good. Uh, they twist and turn to every desirable position. They hold that position really tight. They have little screws to tighten um, 
when you like find the position that you want it in and it really stays firm like that. So the display cabinet, as you can see, I have the Jedi interceptors on those action figure stands, also Moff Gideon's Outland tie. I have floating on one of those. The other option is to use fishing line, which I use for my lots. Uh, as you can see here, if I wiggle this a bit, um, I have it hooked up to the front and to the back like that. I also have X-Wing and the Sarge Ventress ship on those action figure stands. And the Millennium Falcon is hanging by a fishing line and a hook in the ceiling. The way I connected it on the Millennium Falcon was actually I squeezed it into the landing gear and uh, closed them shut to hold the fishing line in place. So I'm going to see how I can get the fishing line hooked up. So in terms of where to hook up the fishing line to the Solus One, I think yeah, the landing gear to sort of get him in here and tuck him in there, sh close it shut and then thread it through here and there have a three point connection there and then have it go up like this. And that way you can sort of uh, bank it the way you want. So let's see if we can get it done like that. So here's the hook and you use one of these sticky adhesives to uh, get it uh, stuck to the glass. Okay, so I've sort of got this working. Here we have him in his um, hanging position. He's quite front heavy, so he needs to be banking up a bit to be in a stable position. As soon as you go about level, it goes, tips down. So he needs to be banking up in his displayed position, which I was gonna have him anyway, sort of uh, both banking and pitching up. So that could work. Okay, so an update is that uh, what it is, crossed it, the hook, hook up beneath, and I uh, got it quite stable like that. So let's see if we can get this up in the cabinet. Next up is placing these sticky adhesives to where the hook sticks to. But first let's give uh, the surface a, a good wipe. As you can see, I've placed the hook to mark where the sticky adhesive should go on the other side. Let's give it a little wipe first so that it sticks properly. Place the adhesive to where you want it and push down for five seconds. And push. Now let's see if General Grievous wants to play ball. I'm not gonna lie to my Microgalaxian peeps, credit to KDG for that expression. Uh, dealing with this fishing line stuff is Tricky AF. And he's up. So what do you think? I think he looks quite all right. Um, the good thing about uh, having on lines like this with several points is you can sort of shift the banking and pitching of him uh, with slight shifts of the center of weight. I do think the general interceptors need to move a bit to the right for it to not look too crowded. So you can do that without causing too much havoc. And let's um, also move one of these droidicas. Like Temporarily. And just the general positioning of it all. I think that looks all right. Not too crowded. I mean, it is a war zone to, after all. <laughs> All right, so the general has reunited with his forces in the war against those sneaky Jedi. I think I got a pretty good setup going here. Um, hope you liked this video. Uh, let me know in the comments or a thumbs up or down. I'll also put uh, in the comments where I got some of this stuff. And if you like these micro figures, for example, they're made by Kevin Tanner in one of the Facebook groups. I'll post a link for that as well. 
Thanks for watching and see you next time.